Hey everyone, this is Know Your Mac on YouTube.com, and today I'm going to show you a very neat bookmarklet for any web browser on your Mac that allows you to just easily print out a web page without all of that unneeded content. <clears throat> so, this bookmarklet has been created by Chris Coyer, the creator of many sites online such as um, Quotes on Design, CSS Tricks and are my sites up stuff like that so there's a link for this in the description and all you have to do there's no installing this or anything you just go over here to where it says print eliminator and drag it right into your bookmarks bar you can type in the name and all that so I have mine up here in the top left corner and I just put the back pace, backspace symbol up in there for the name so let me show you exactly what this does. Over here I'm reading an article on noop.com about their new owner, Smashing Magazine. And if just say I want to print out this article and show it to someone, I could just go to File, Print. The only problem is I have 16 pages here of unneeded comments, footers, stuff like that. Now if I want, I could always say only from 1 to page 3, let's say. But we still have all those annoying content that really doesn't have to be there. And not only does it waste paper, but it also wastes your ink. So all we have to do is click on this little print eliminator button. And these three little buttons appear in the top right of our web page. Remove graphics, print stylize, and send to printer. So the first thing I want to do is hit that remove graphics button because I really don't need all those images. I just want to have that article. And next, when I roll over certain objects on the page, there'll be this thick red stroke around them. So I'm just going to roll over unneeded content and click. And it removes it from the page. And so I'm just going to keep doing that until all that's left is the article. Delete that, delete that, delete that, delete the footer. And there we go. So now this is all I have. So to print it, I can hit send to printer. And there we go, it's all done. Or I can hit print stylize, which will style it specifically for the printer. Now just say you make a mistake, you can just reload the page and it'll be back on track. So this works with basically any website. I'm going to go over here to Shutterstock.com I'm going to miscellaneous here. and I'm just going to find a random image. Here we go. So just to say I want to show this image to someone before I download this. I can go to Print Eliminator and I won't hit remove graphics this time because obviously I don't want to remove this image so I'll just remove everything else remove the keywords remove the categories there we go and remove some of the image IDs, I really don't need them. And delete the vector format notice thing, delete the share area, and then just delete the footer. Whoa. But you see what I'm saying. So it's very, very, very simple to do this. The only problem is, as you just saw, it gets very annoying if you make a mistake, like right there. I have to reload the page and completely redo it. But I think it is still worth it. Because once you get the hang of it, you really can do this much, much quicker. And it is just going to save you a lot of ink. And it's going to make it much, much nicer when you print it. Here we go, I have that ready again. I'm just going to hit send to printer. And there we go. So I can print out just that image. 
and if I hit print stylize on this web page it's not that great so you can see there's a couple of flaws but in the long run it's just a great thing to have just in case you do need to print only a section of the page so I hope you enjoyed this tutorial and I hope you subscribe thanks a lot everybody